Hello students, my name is Professor Mohammad Asim and we are doing AdMath. AdMath for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIE O level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. Students, in last lecture, we finished question number 5 from exercise 9.8. And the topic of exercise 9.8 is solving further trigonometric equations. Today we are going to do a very important question that is question number 6. But before I start question number 6, I would suggest all those students who are watching my lecture first time Kindly first go to my playlist. There is a folder name is AdMath. Watch previous lectures of this exercise. Then definitely you will have good command on this topic. Let's start question number 6. You can see on your screen solve each of these equations for 0 to 360 degrees. First equation A 310 square x minus sec x minus 1 is equals to 0. This is a quadratic equation but we cannot solve this quadratic equation unless the whole equation reduced to one trigonometric functions. Right now there are two trigonometric functions in this equation 10 square x and sec x. But if we use the trigonometric identity that is 1 plus 10 square x is equals to sec square x. 1 plus 10 square x is equals to sec square x. Or you can say 10 square x is equals to sec square x minus 1. So we can replace this 10 square x by sec square x minus 1. This minus sec x remains, this minus 1 remains minus 1. 3 into sec square x is 3. Sec square x, 3 ones are 3. Minus sec x minus 1 is equals to 0. 3 sec square x minus sec x. Minus 3 minus 1 is minus 4 is equals to 0. This is a quadratic equation. This can easily be factorized because it has only one trigonometric function. So this is the main theme of question number 6. How to factorize? I will factorize this equation by using middle drum break method. 4 ones are 4 and 4 minus 3 is 1. So 3 sec square x minus 4 sec x plus 3 sec x minus 4 is equals to 0. Taking first two and last two. In first two the common is sec x that is 3 sec x minus 4. And in last two, there is no common, therefore we will take 1. So 3 sec x minus 4 is equals to 0. Now 3 sec x minus 4 and sec x plus 1 is equals to 0. This equation is completely factorized. Therefore, 3 sec x minus 4 is equals to 0 and sec x plus 1 is equals to 0. 
from here 3 sec x is equals to 4 sec x is equals to 4 upon 3 and you know the reciprocal of sec is cos therefore it is cos x is equals to 3 upon 4 and the second equation is sec x plus 1 is equals to 0 so sec x is equals to minus 1 the reciprocal of sec is cos x and minus 1 reciprocal is minus 1 so no change now we will solve equation number 1 assign the name and equation number 2 one by one first i am taking equation number one equation number one is cos x is equals to three upon four and this is positive and cos is positive in first and in fourth quadrant for first quadrant we will have cos x is equals to cos inverse 3 upon 4 what is cos inverse 3 upon 4 is the answer is 41.4 41.4 4 and for fourth quadrant we should subtract this value from 360 so 41.4 and 360 minus this is 41.4 318.6 now taking second equation equation number 2 equation number 2 is cos x is equals to minus 1 cos x minus 1 cos is negative and cos is negative in second and in third quadrant so x is equals to cos inverse minus 1 it will give you 180 degrees and there is only one angle from 0 to 360 degrees which gives you cos minus 1 that is 180 degrees hence our final answer is 41.4 180 degrees and 318.6 degrees and this is our final answer so hope you completely understand part number one part a of question number six this is the summary let's start part b What is part B? 4 4 10 square x plus 8 sec x is equals to 1 So same strategy will be used Replace this 10 square x by 
sec square x minus 1 8 sec x shift this one on this side it will be minus 1 and on right hand side it is 0 4 into sec square is 4 sec square x 4 ones are 4 plus 8 sec x minus 1 is equals to 0 4 sec square x plus 8 sec x minus 4 minus 1 is minus 5 is equals to 0. So this is a quadratic equation with only one trigonometric function. It is it can be factorized. 5 4 is a 20, 10 2 is a 10, uh, 10 2 is a 20 and 10 minus 2 is 8. So 4 sec square x plus 10 sec x minus 2 sec x minus 5 is equals to 0. Taking first 2 and last 2. In first 2 there is common 2 sec x it will be 2 sec x plus 5 taking minus 1 from last 2 it will be 2 sec x plus 5 is equals to 0 so we have two trigonometric equations one is 2 one is 2 sec x plus 5 and one is 2 sec x minus 1 is equals to 0. Now taking 1 by 1 both the factors 2 sec x plus 5 is equals to 0 and 2 sec x minus 1 is equals to 0. 2 sec x plus 5 is equals to 0. 2 sec x is equals to minus 5. Sec x is equals to minus 5 upon 2. The reciprocal of sec is cos. So cos x must be minus 2 upon 5. Assign the name of this equation is equation number 1. Taking second factor. 2 sec x minus 1 is equals to 0. Then 2 sec x is equals to 1. Then sec x is equals to 1 upon 2. The reciprocal of sec is cos x which is equals to 2 upon 1. Assign the name of this equation is equation number 2. Taking both the equations one by one. First, I am taking equation number one. Cos x is equal to minus 2 upon 5. This is negative. Cos is negative in second and in third quadrant. So, x is equal to cos inverse minus 2 upon 5 cos inverse minus 2 upon 5 is one one three point six. and for uh, third quadrant we should find first the basic angle how it is possible? Just subtract 113.6 from 180. Therefore, the basic angle is 66.42. Hence, the angle in 
third quadrant is should be 180 plus 66.42 which is equals to Two forty six point four. So these are two angles from equation number one. Taking equation number two, cos x is equals to two. This is positive. Cos is positive in first and in fourth quadrant so x is equals to cos inverse 2 this should be your calculator give you math error why in cos function the maximum value is 1 and the minimum value is minus 1 so there is no angle in cos function which which gives you 2 so your calculator must be uh, show math error on display screen or you can say or you can say not admissible hence there are only two answers of this question question that is x is equals to 113.6 and 246.4 and this is our final answer so hope you completely understand part number 2 this is the summary of question number 6 part 2 move to part C What is part C? Part C is 2 sec square is equals to two sec square x is equals to 5 tan x plus 5. So same strategy we will use 2 by using trigonometric identity sec square x is equals to 10 square x minus 1 move this 5 10 x to left hand side it will be minus 5 10 x and this 5 also minus 5 and on right hand side is 0 2 into 10 square x is 2 sorry sec square x is 1 plus 10 square x okay so 2 into 10 square x is 2 10 square x 2 1 that 2 minus 5 10 x minus 5 is equals to 0 so 2 10 square x minus 5 10 x minus 5 plus 2 is minus 3 is equals to 0 so this is the quadratic equation of tangent function factorize is factorize uh, 3 to the 6 and 6 1 the 6 6 minus 1 5 so 2 10 square x minus 6 10 x plus 1 10 x 
minus 3 is equals to 0. Taking 2 is 2 10 x common, it will be 10 x minus 3 plus 1 common. Hence, 2 10 x plus 1 and 10 x minus 3 is equals to 0. <coughs> Taking 2 10 x plus 1 is equals to 0. This implies that 2 10 x is equals to minus 1. 10 x is equals to minus 1 upon 2. So, assign the name of this equation is equation number 1. And now 10 x minus 3 is equals to 0, 10 x is equals to 3, assign the name of equation number 2. Taking both equations one by one, equation 1 is 10 x is equals to minus half which is negative and 10 is negative in second and in third quadrant. Therefore, x is equals to 10 inverse minus 1 upon 2 which gives minus 26.6 negative 26.6 but our domain is considered uh, is given only positive angles so we will consider this angle is 26.6 hence angle in second quadrant is 180 minus 26.6 and 180 plus 26.6 sorry in fourth quadrant this should be subtracted from 360 hence first is 153.4 the other is 333.4 Now, taking equation number 2, 10 x is equals to 3, which is positive and 10 is positive, you know, first and in third quadrant. Therefore, x is equals to 10 inverse 3, which is equals to 7.5. Correct to one decimal place, and for third coordinate, this value should be add in one eighty. Hence, x is equals to seventy one point six, and two fifty one point six. Hence, final answer is x is equals to write in ascending order 71.6, the second one is 153.4, third 
third should be 251.6 and fourth should be 333.4 this is our final answer so hope you completely understand this part C this is the summary of part C I hope you completely understand move to part D What is part D? Two cot square x minus five cosec x minus one is equals to zero. A student, there is one identity. That is one plus cot square x is equals to cosec square x. Or you may say cot square x is equals to cosec square x minus one. So we should replace this cot square x is cosec square x minus 1 minus 5 cosec x minus 1 is equals to 0 2 multiply by cosec square x is 2 cosec square x 2 multiply by minus 1 is minus 2 minus 5 cosec x minus 1 is equals to 0 2 cosec square x minus 5 cosec x minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 is equals to 0 so this is the quadratic equation reduce in a single trigonometric function Factorize is factorize it three to the six and six minus one is five. So two cosec square x minus six cosec x minus uh, plus one cosec x minus three is equals to zero. In first two taking two cosec x that is cosec x minus 3 taking plus 1 cosec x minus 3 is equals to 0 so 2 cosec x plus 1 and cosec x minus 3 is equals to 0 2 cosec x plus 1 is equals to 0 and cosec x minus 3 is equals to 0 so 2 cosec x plus 1 is 1 shifted over there it will be minus 1 cosec x is equals to minus 1 upon 2 and you know cosec is the reciprocal of sin x therefore 
sin x is equals to minus 2 upon 1. This is equation number 1. Now, taking equation number 2, sorry, taking second factor that is cos x minus 3 is equals to 0. This should be cos x is equals to 3. The reciprocal of cos x sin x. So, this should be 1 upon 3 and assign the name of this equation is equation number 2. Taking both equations one by one, first I am taking sin x is equals to minus 2 equation number 1. This is negative and sin is negative in, uh, sorry, sin is negative in, in third and in fourth quadrant. So, x is equals to sin inverse minus 2. This will give you math error in your calculator or you can say not possible or you can say not admissible because the maximum value of sin is 1 and the minimum value of sin is minus 1. So, it is not possible that the value of sin is less than minus 1. So, this is the final answer. Taking equation number 2. In this case, sin is positive, sin is positive in first and in second quadrant. Hence, x is equals to sin inverse 1 upon 3, which is equals to nineteen point five and for second quadrant this value should be subtracted from one eighty degrees one sixty point five. Hence, we have only two answers because minus 2 gives you math error. X is equals to 19.5 degrees and 160.5 degrees. This is our final answer. So, hope you completely understand this part, part D. The summary of the equation is this 2 cot square x minus 5 cos x minus 1. And student, this is our today's class where <coughs> we did first four parts of question number 6. And I will finish remaining four parts in next, next lecture because parts are little bit lengthy. So, if you are satisfying my video and if you think that my videos are helping you, kindly do subscribe my channel and wherever you subscribe, don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when I upload my videos, you will get the notification. Kindly spread my videos share my videos as many as you can that's it good luck for next lecture